Hello everybody, this is Dr. Hassan again in Renewable and Sustainable Energy. This is module number three. Okay. Uh, week number 10, we will talk about ocean thermal energy converter today. We'll talk about principal sources and technology. But before this as introduction, just let me remind you that the world consumption of hydroelectric and other renewable energy and their projection up to 2030 was uh, published in 2009 by International Energy Agency and seem to be there is growth as you can see this is by the way this is by British Thermal Unity Quadrillion and you can see here the countries all of them are going looking up and there is growth in their needs which means that their industry people growth of people population also increase and for these countries if we look to them uh, uh, energy consumption uh, there is, I mean, we will find that there is a, a portfolio for energy, but it's not only for consumption actually, for production also. We can uh, we can see that there is coal, natural gas, uh, petroleum, and other sources, especially in renewable energy. But this, this is in 2006, okay. Today, when we talk about 2021, we will see that these other, let me say, sources get increased, improved, especially renewable. Hydro is one of them, or let me say, energy in water and ocean is one of them. And we already discussed the uh, hydropower using dam, as you can see here in this way. Okay, here, using dam or using a, a wave or tidal power, which is at the end, kinetic energy movement. Okay, and there is an, in front of potential energy where we use, as example here, we can use as example uh, solar thermal or any or let me say thermal energy or uh, ha, using uh, fossil fuel or uh, using uh, uh, renewable energy. Now, how much energy available in these ocean sources? We have in the range of uh, 8,000 to 80,000 terawatt hour per year for wave. For tidal, we have this, which is around 800 terawatt hour a year. And for uh, salient radiant energy, we have around 2,000, talking about dam and others. And 10,000 around terawatt hour is coming from ocean thermal energy converter. Okay, which is huge. I'm talking about here about terawatt. Now the idea of uh, uh, using uh, ocean thermal energy converter is very simple. It's talking about since we have oceans and uh, water cover around 70% and above uh, from our planet, which is the highest collector thermal solar collector available on our planet, and there is temperature difference between the surface and if we go deeply down in the water, this difference in temperature we can utilize it. And converter and generate a huge amount of energy electricity as example okay you may say okay this difference in temperature you're talking about 80 or uh, to 40 or let me say 20 celsius to 5 celsius from where we got cold water cold water coming from natural uh, uh, from nature we can we know that the, the pole there is ice and get melted which is cold and it's rotated to go to the direction of equator it's uh, let me say natural thermosiphon occurred in the in the in, this, in the in the planet. As you can see here, you can see the cold water and return back to the this is thermosiphon. Now in Arctic power plants, we need heat sink, which is the energy taken from of the temperature of the surface of the water, and heat sink where we have cold water taken from down deep in the ocean. And then this is this technology is not new. It's it's all technology and get improved with time. I will I will show in the next slides that, that how old is this technology. But still to today, we have two challenges needs to face. These are the design and the economic feasibility of the uh, system. Now, the idea started in here. Okay, here talking about more than 100 years back, and get improved with time. Okay, this is uh, it show you uh, a small systems four mega. Okay, long time back, more than fifty years back, and this is how it look on the top of the surface of the water. Most of the system will be under the. Water. 
Now, uh, you may say, okay, what takes uh, so long? What takes so long for this technology to be spread? A few points. We can summarize them in the independence is not urgent for many, many countries. Global warming is not seriously taken. Otherwise, if it's taken, this one would be one of the options to solve the global warming. And uh, um, oil uh, prices still, even if it is uh, increased, but still to today, uh, it is cheap and uh, available and provided by many countries. And uh, it's a new technology. Still, people are not uh, uh, know about it and they didn't work with it. Now, how this uh, technology work? As I mentioned, differences in temperature utilized to vaporize, vaporize, vaporize the liquid, the fluid, and then it's uh, to rotate turbo generator, and then it's condensed and return back similar to this here. As you can see here, this is the boiler, and heat taken here to uh, heat up the fluid to vaporize it from the surface of the water of the ocean. This is turbine, this is generator, we generate electricity. Condensing here by the cold water bring, bring to from the deep down ocean. Now, uh, OTIC system contain 10 major parts, the boiler, the condenser, the vapor turbine generator, working fluid, working fluid pump, and water warm pump, and uh, cold water pump, and cold water pipe, electric cable to shore, and integrating floating structure. Uh, now, this, these systems, most of them is below the surface of the water, and we produce a huge amount of energy. We will see later that the, the amount of energy captured is in the, in the range of thousands mega, giga, and the production will be in at least 100 mega, hundreds mega. How it look like the OTIC system? From the uh, surface of the water, we see only this stage. This stage could be used for many uh, applications. As example, uh, these helicopters can land in the ocean. Uh, they can build here. Uh, they can use it for tourism or for, uh, as a, let me say, port for ships and so. And you can see the system is below the stage here, the, the hot and the cold water and pipe and freezer exchanger. Now, this system is not only generate electricity actually, and there are many uh, byproducts coming with this. But if we would like to highlight the many advantages of this system, we will find that we don't pay in fuel to get heat. It's free uh, heat, and uh, uh, it's independent. We cannot, we don't need to export the fuel. It's available near our uh, coastal or near our beaches. And also, uh, it's increased the fishing, produce the fresh water. Uh, uh, this is a huge amount of energy source, and uh, uh, it's to produce many byproducts. As example, it produce hydrogen fuel, uh, methanol, uh, ammonia for fertilizer, and many other. As you can see here in this figure, many other byproducts coming from the system. This table show you some of the potential of uh, 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 byproducts coming from the system for 100 megawatt system you can see we're talking about electricity oxygen hydrogen ammonia uh, methanol uh, fresh water and fishes and here are the outputs yearly it's, it's really uh, interesting if we uh, this is this is a system which is not two in one or three in one we're talking about 10 or more in one now this is also mentioned in the study by Authority of Electricity Regulation in 2008 and uh, 2019, I can show here that um, uh, some seminars and conferences uh, held in Oman uh, talking about how this uh, technology and this uh, source could be promised to Oman. I already talked about this in 2011 in my paper published, uh, which is Prospective of Potential Noble and Clean Energy in Oman. Well, I talk about it here, as you can see, and I mentioned that we need to explore this source of energy. Some other researchers mentioned for it, as example, this is talking about we can start with five mega OTIC system near the sea. One sea. And uh, the idea, as you can see here, is, is, is clear that uh, if we plot the deep down in the ocean with the temperature, we can see at 25 
on the surface here okay this is the surface zero down the sea we can see that uh, there is not much much different difference but with with we go if we go down deep here in this direction we see the curve going down here maybe at here at example 800 600 700 500 meter down deep in the water we find that the temperature is 5 so 25 minus 5 we're talking about 20 Celsius which is enough to be used to for otic system as I mentioned we have hot reservoir we have cold reservoir the difference the heat flow from here and here we the difference between them will produce the energy output but this system thermal system is related to Carnot, Carnot efficiency Carnot efficiency simply is 1 minus temperature the cold one divided by the hot one the cold water by the hot water which is low Carnot efficiency for that this system is low and you may say if it is low we're talking about how much the efficiency we're talking about two three percent oh it's very low in, in terms of engineering is very low yeah but who cares if the amount of energy is it produces high and cheap nobody care about the efficiency now uh, this otic system can be utilized in two uh, ways the first one is by using the hydraulic turbine and the second one is by vapor table turbine mainly people today using vapor turbine but just to let you know what look like, how it look like the hydraulic hydraulic from the name is using hydraulic you can see we make here a, a well for chill, chilled water by you can see here the, the warm water because of the heat in the surface here get vaporized and it's closed you see closed system here now it's going up as a steam rotating the turbo generator we need condensing we bring the cold water from here to the well and the steam will be returned back desalinated here or let me say condensed here and back to the water another way what they do they make a well long well here as you can see water to be filled here and put the pressure on the turbine we may say how water came the steam will go up here and this uh, you see here it's surrounded would go up here and there is a, a water cold water coming from deep down in the, in the ocean to this well to get cold now when water come here because of its cold it will be condensed and put a pressure to rotate the turbo generator for the vapor one turbine we have open cycle and closed cycle open cycle it's from the name there is uh, open there is no return okay we don't use heat exchanger here okay in the, the cycle as example here you can see the warm warm water taken here okay sorry here here the warm water to the turbo generator and condense using the cold water and water return back to the ocean we may we may add heat exchanger at the output here for just for uh, desalination I mean just the water to produce fresh water this is open cycle Closed cycle, no, we don't use the water. We use the fluid, as example, ammonia. As you can see here, we put uh, uh, here a uh, uh, heat exchanger at the evaporator and uh, at the output at the condensing, we heat another heat exchanger. And we can see that NH3 will uh, vaporize, rotate turbo generator, and then cooled and back by pump to rotate again. So the warm water here and the cold water here and heat exchanger is break between them. This is a closed system. We may have hybrid system, part of it closed and the other part is open. As example here, as you can see, this is the warm water and taken here to the heat exchanger. The output will be produced, will produce, uh, let me say, uh, distilled water and the heat exchanger is connected to turbo turbine to generate electricity and at the same time condensed by the cold water pump back to the heat exchanger one heat exchanger is enough these are the two systems as you can see here we don't have in this system the otic system open one we don't have we have only hot and cold water and there is no heat exchanger while here we can see there is heat exchanger here and here for the hot and the cold and the steps is uh, power input to the pump to start and then fluid pumps pressurize and pushes working fluid to evaporator and then 
heat addition from the hot water source used to evaporate the working fluid within the heat exchanger and after that expanding vapor drive to turbo electricity and to produce electricity by the generator then heat extracted from the cold water sink by condensing where the cold water bring down deep in the ocean and uh, cycle begin again and bring back this is how it look like uh, in a photo in one photo now for current efficiency, I mentioned for current efficiency, we know that the mechanical and electrical are noble form of energy, okay? No enthalpy, okay? While when we talk about heat, no, we have a huge amount of losses coming because of uh, heat. Now here, as you can see, uh, we have heat and heat and thermal energy coming from the so surface of the water and heat out when we condense, or let me call it rejected energy.